In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to move a standalone Microsoft Office license to a new PC. All right guys, so the first thing that we wanna do is let's open any of our Office applications. I'll just open Word and we wanna identify our current license type in addition. So we can do that by going to our file tab. Once we're here, let's go to account towards the bottom left and we just want to see what edition we have installed and we want to note the exact product name which in my case is office professional plus 2021. now it's important that retail one-time purchase can be moved uh, but oem or volume licenses typically cannot this means that if you got a computer that was pre-installed with office you may not be able to move this to a new pc so this tutorial will be specific for retail one-time purchases now we can also check our Microsoft account to see if it's listed there. Simply go to account.microsoft.com. And then once we're here, go to subscriptions and we'll be able to see our product listed here. If we scroll down, you can see that same Office Professional Plus 2021 right here. All right, so step two is gonna to be to deactivate or unlink the license from the old PC. So this is easiest using the Microsoft account, which we're already here on this page. If we see an option to deactivate install, then we would click that and that frees the license so that we could use it on a new PC. Now, since we did a key-based installation in my case, we're gonna to wanna to use an Office licensing script since we don't see the deactivate option here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our command prompt as administrator. We'll select yes on the pop-up. And once we're in our CMD, we're gonna start by changing our directory. We'll do, in my case, it's the C drive colon backslash and then program files slash Microsoft Office backslash root backslash office 16. That should be your directory unless you manually selected a directory when you installed. But in most cases, this is the correct folder to be inside of. And once we're here, we're gonna run C script OSPP dot VBS forward slash D status. So it's gonna show us the last five of our product key that we used to install, which we see right here. So our next command is C script so C script OSPP.VBS, and then we'll do slash UNP key colon, and we'll enter our key, which is PG343. We'll press enter. It's telling us that it's uninstalling the product key and that the product key uninstall was successful. At this point, I can go ahead and exit the command prompt. We're actually ready to activate Office on the new PC. Now I'm just gonna show you guys the process of installing it as if I was on a new PC. We'll just restart again at account.microsoft.com, making sure that you're on the same account that you access the license key from. Once we're there, we'll go to subscriptions and then we'll scroll down and we'll find our Office Professional Plus 2021. And then by clicking the install here and then clicking install again, it's gonna give us a download file that we can run an office setup.exe. Now I didn't actually un uninstall Office because in your case you would just be removing the key from your old PC. You don't actually need to uninstall. So I should still have Word and everything on here. So let me just see what happens if I open it. Let's go to account. All right, and then once we've downloaded that EXE, we can go through the installation process and Office will be fully activated already once you go ahead and install the EXE. Signing into a Windows 11 virtual machine. This is basically acting as a new PC. And let me go back to account.microsoft.com. And I'll click down to subscriptions again. And then I'm just gonna scroll down until I see Office Professional Plus 2021, which is here. I'll click install and I'll click install again. So again, this is the same one that we just deactivated via the command prompt on my other Windows host machine. We'll double click to open the file here. We'll click yes. All right, the install is um, happening right now. We'll come back once it's done. All right guys, so it just says the installation was all set. Let's go ahead and open up Word on my new computer here. Let's just make sure that everything is activated. All right, so on this little pop-up here, I'm gonna select Office Professional Plus 2021, and I'll hit Next. And I'll accept the agreement. And the activation was successful. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. If you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. 
If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.